Good afternoon. Welcome to Fifth Garage. I'm just looking at a um, BMW 520D 2018 um, with the engine management light on. Uh, the customers have been complaining of a AdBlue system issue. Um, so I don't know if it's been looked at elsewhere or not. So we're just going to plug into this and see what's going on with the vehicle. Okay, so we've just run the health report on the vehicle. Uh, we've got a couple of codes in there in the CAC unit, but we're not too worried about those. That's not what it's in for. Okay, the two codes we've got in uh, um, engine control module, we've got SCR system, efficiency too low, and nitrogen oxide sensor after SCR catalytic converter. Um, NOx deviation too high in coasting. Um, so it's obviously seeing a high PPM on the NOx sensor um, on overrun. So what I think we'll do next is go into live data. We'll have a look at the pre and post um, NOx sensors, see what feedback we're getting from them and see if we can determine anything from there. Okay, so I've gone into my live data um, and I can see that my NOx sensor value after the um, SCR cap, we're both reading zero, the before and after both reading zero at the minute, which you'd expect because the car's not running. So I'm gonna get this up and running and see what happens, see how quickly these come online. Okay, so immediately we can see that NOx sensor before the SCR cap has come online immediately. Um, the one after the SCR cap, which is reading too high, a value is not come online yet so I'm going to leave this running for another couple of minutes um, and see if that zero um, comes up I mean obviously if you had a perfectly working SCR catalyst you might have some NOx gases before the SCR cat and nothing after um, but you'd expect to see something there especially just on startup like we just did um, <coughs> but it does sometimes take a little while for them to come online so I'm going to give this a couple of minutes um, and then see where we go Okay, I've not been running long, um, but still my um, after SCR knock sensor hasn't come online yet. Um, so this is definitely indicating some sort of issue with the vehicle. Uh, and you can see how quickly these react as well. So if I rev the vehicle now, so you can see it's very, very quick to react. Uh, the oxygen sensor element of that knock sensor reacts very, very quickly to the NOx gases coming past it. And what you'll also see is it drops down to zero like this. Um, so that's on fuel overs, that's on overrun. So as I take my foot off the throttle and there's no fuel then going into the engine, uh, it's picking that up immediately. Um, so that, that sensor's working a treat at the moment. Um, it's still in the warm up phase. Um, so it's probably over fueling slightly until it gets to normal, normal operating temperature. Um, but like I say, the um, knock sensor before the SCR cat is working exactly as I'd expect. I'm still waiting to see what's going on with this other one, if anything. Um, if it doesn't come online within a couple of minutes, then we'll have to get this car on the ramp, have a look underneath and see what's going on with that knock sensor. Okay, so I'm just back from a short road test in the BMW. Um, you can see here before the NOx um, SCR cap, you can see I've got 73, 74 uh, PPM before, but then after, and I'm just sitting here at idle at the moment, we're showing 240 odd. Um, you know, this isn't possible. Uh, so the, the exhaust gases that are going into the in before the SCR cat, if they're reading 70, you can't come out the other end at 240. Um, it's just not possible. So I've definitely got an issue here with my um, after SCR cat knock sensor. Uh, so I just need to get this up, check the voltages and stuff to it, check the can, um, and probably put a new sensor on this. Um, even on road test, that sensor was up as high as 1600 ppm and then down as low as minus 50 so the the, the sensor just giving spurious um, signals and then what we're seeing there as well as so one overrun um, the sensor before the SCR cat was going to zero as you would expect but the one after the cat was up as high as 600 ppm and um, again just, that just shows um, that we've got a fault with the actual sensor itself so I just need to quickly check the wiring uh, make sure the voltages and everything are good to the sensor itself and then change the component and retest make sure it's all good from there okay i've got the five series up on the ramp i'm just going to quickly check the knock sensor so there's the unit for it there there's the other one there towards the front of the car this is the one we're checking so i'm just making a connection i've got a good ground connection here 
Um, so I'm just first off, I'm going to have a quick look at these can lines. I should be able to pick this up on the fluke scope quickly. So I'm just going to just going to push that into there. Go into here. Okay, so we've got a good can signal coming across on this one. I'm going to quickly pop into the next one so we can see that. There we go. Okay, and again, good can signal coming in on this side. And then we're just going to check the power supply, um, which is on this one. Hopefully. Pick this up, there we go. Right. Okay, so reading overload, just going to quickly adjust the scope to read that. Okay, there we go. So we can see, I've just move that up as well. Okay, so we can see my line there. So you can see there, 12.1 volts. You can see where the A is, where my baseline is for ground. Um, so it's good power supply, got can signal, both the wires, if I was checking out with a multimeter, would add up to around about five volts. Um, I'm happy just to go ahead with the information I've got now at the moment and get this sensor changed over. Okay, my new knock sensor just turned up from BMW. So we're gonna get this fitted to the car now, um, do all the resets and adaptions, get it out for a road test and make sure the car's fixed. Okay, so I've just cleared all the fault codes down. So I'm just gonna go into special functions now and reset the SCR values. So let's just make sure we can get this. Okay, there we go. SCR system, resetting adaptions and adjustments. Okay. Well, Okay, so it's going to be F2 because we've just done the knock sensor on that. So we're going to reset that. We'll say yes. Hopefully, it should just follow out that process, and all that's going to be left for us to do is do a road test and monitor those NOx, the NOx gases. Okay, still doing something. Okay, rather than sit and watch all of this, because I'm not sure how long this is going to take, um, I'll leave this doing government running through the process and then we'll come back. Okay, just back from road test. Um, everything's looking a lot better now with the SCR cat and the way it's being monitored. Uh, you can see that the knock sensor after the SCR is reading the, well, it's actually reading the minus figure at the moment. Um, the, the calibration of that is a little bit out. Um, that will balance itself out on road test. Um, in fact, I'm probably at the end of this job anyway. I'm going to software update this vehicle um, with ISTA um, and bring it up to the latest software version as well just to finish the job off. Uh, but already we can see, uh, before I do that, that when I bring the revs up, unlike before previously, my NOx value is always lower on the after SCR NOx sensor um, than it is on the one before, which, is, which should be happening. Um, whereas previously, obviously, after we were seeing results that were higher um, than the NOx value before, which uh, just doesn't make sense. Um, so that new knock sensor seems to be working okay. Um, and I say on road test, that minus figure will start, it will calibrate itself out anyway. Um, so yeah, this looks good. Uh, like I say back from road test, no fault codes have returned. The knock sensors are working as I'd expect. The SCR cat is doing its job because I've got less knocks coming out than I have going in. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this one. It's another one finished. By the update that I need to now go and do, but that's fine. You won't want to watch that because that takes a little while.